My name is Victor Aponte from MOG Improvement. We are in Mableton, Georgia. Uh, what we're doing here is a total god. The only thing that we're going to preserve is going to be the vanities. Well, the, the bathroom was in really good shape. The main concern was how dated it was. Uh, some of the contractors around the area, he contacted me in order to see if we can get involved in this project because it was a major remodeling. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the things that uh, it was entailed to do this, it was the fact that we need to pull permits. And that's one of the things that we do on a regular basis. We did the first stop of the day. We're going to check it out on the project close by here in Mableton. Stay tuned. We're on the second stop of the day. We're going to check this uh, drywall painting, a uh, small renovation cosmetic in a bonus room that we're going to fix it for these people. Check it out. We are in Mableton, Georgia still. Uh, this is like a repurposing, a bonus room. We demo most of the space in here. Uh, we reframe some of the areas to make sure that we have like a big area, this bedroom, that we really out the closet that we have outside these bedrooms and we're going to connect in, any, in, in a way that it makes sense to the bathroom over there. We in the suburbs, uh, Mableton, we stopped by a couple of projects. Right now we're going to the city of Atlanta. We're going to be actually in Southeast. Uh, this community is called East Lake. East Lake is known because the PGA Tour have a, a tournament in there. This has been built a quarter of a mile from that golf course. We just want to show you a new building that we did, new construction here in East Lake, Atlanta. Check it out. This kitchen, complete renovation. Uh, one of the biggest challenges that we're facing here was the pantry, because as you see, it's an open concept. We found that corner, the other corner for the fridge, and we built everything in between. We did a different kind of floor with the tile, with a, with a really specific pattern. We custom made an island. The regular island usually is not that long, but in this one, as you see, it was an open space and we want to enclose that as a part of the kitchen. We put some lining, lead lining on the bottom that actually can change colors, can have different patterns to try to do something different. We have a wine cooler, we have a double sink. I mean, we want to provide all the features that you can need on a kitchen in order to make it really functional. You have a really comfortable shower, you're going to have one dedicated area for the vanities and you're going to have a, a toilet area that even though it's not enclosed, as you see it's private enough because if you are on this area of the bathroom, basically whoever is using the, com the commode mm -hmm. is not going to be exposed. All this that you see here is available for anyone. The magic comes when you combine them. I want this, I want this accent, I want these colors. When everything comes together, it's actually when the costume thing come. The thing is most of these you don't see it on the stock, on the shelf, on Home Depot or this kind of stuff because they don't sell much. Mm -hmm. Even though they look really fancy, they're not. They're really competitive. A head shower that is going to change with the temperature of the water. Mm -hmm. The idea is, is it's basically for her, you have like a, like a waterfall coming, spilling on the floor and actually spilling out. As you see on the back, we have a huge niche. You can put all the shampoos and all that and you're not able to see it because it's on this side. Mm -hmm. This bathroom to be really elegant, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you have everything that you need. This is a half bathroom. Uh, most of the people don't really care uh, because it's a tiny in and out, but actually it's one of the most important because it's the one that everybody else are going to use. Obviously besides the normal stuff, the sink, the toilet, we, we want to have some cedar work on it. Uh, we're trying to use yellow lights in order to be more cozy about the effect that we have.
This whole room was one of the areas that we want to provide a custom space to feel you cozy, to do activities that you want to you know, enjoy, like reading a book, like hanging out with people. Having that high ceiling, we want to just narrow that you know, to, to something smaller. That's why we did the tray ceiling with some lining on it and with some lining in the center. Basically, you can dimer in and out what you want, depending on the mood that you have. And we install uh, on the wall, like an ethanol kind of fireplace, and it's going to actually heat all this front space as you need. The idea is basically the feeling that you have down below here is really cozy because you have all this contrast between the white and the, and the wood. And usually the wood is related to something quite peaceful and enjoyable. We're not going to be, you know, uh, dragging your feet or trying to, you know, we, we just take care of the problem. You have a problem, we take it out of your plate. You don't need to do anything. We just need to ask you and give you the answer. Colors, finishes, what are you looking to achieve? And we, we execute that and we just deliver to you. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the journey today. That was a day on the life of Victor Aponte and all the projects that were running in the Metro Atlanta area. I hope you enjoy and see you next time.